So if you've been paying really close attention to my collection of books and my video for the In Your Pants tag, you might have noticed that I have a couple new books. And that is because my mom needed something at the local thrift store, so of course I went and checked out the book section. So one that I mentioned in the In Your Pants tag was The Elegance of the Hedgehog by Muriel Barbary. I first learned about this book through powellsbooks.com's daily dose newsletter where they basically pick out one book per day and send you information about it and reviews from readers and publishers. So the story takes place in Paris and follows a hotel concierge who is fat and ugly but secretly loves art and culture and beauty and this concierge watches the tenants of the hotel, including a 12-year-old girl who is incredibly intelligent but hides it and pretends to be the stereotypical preteen girl. So they both kind of live a hidden double life and then a new tenant shows up and things happen and change. I've heard it mentioned a few times since getting that email and so obviously I decided to get it. The next book that I mentioned in the In Your Pants tag was 100 Years of Solitude by Gabriel Garcia Marquez. This is one of those books where the title really grabs me, but it also has a Nobel Prize and is considered a modern classic. It's also one of the books that Jess Mariano reads on the Gilmore Girls, so I'm even more interested to read it because of that. Plus, this physical copy is really nice looking with deckled edges and a cover that just feels really nice. The next book I got from the thrift store is The Curious Incident of the Dog in the Nighttime by Mark Haddon. I was actually on the fence about reading this for a while, but it was another book that was mentioned by the Powell's Books Daily Dose newsletter. And after hearing about it enough, I decided to add it to my to reads list and the checkout lady at the store said it was really good so hopefully I agree with her. The next book is The Mysterious Benedict Society which I'm mostly interested in because it was illustrated by Carson Ellis who illustrated Wildwood and is married to the author of Wildwood who is the lead singer of The Decemberists which I have talked about before. Plus it's one of those books that has been around a while and is fun and quirky and Mysterious, which is a lot like Wildwood, so I'm happy to have it. And the last book from the first trip is The Key to the Golden Firebird by Maureen Johnson. I've really enjoyed her newer books, so I need to get into her older books, like The Bermuda's Triangle, which I also showed in another video. And I really don't know anything about this, but it is by the Twitter queen, so it has to be good. Enough time has passed since I bought those books that I've already gone to the thrift store again on another errand with my mom and I ended up buying four more books. But they are totally worthy buys and I didn't make like a book buying ban or anything so you can't scold me. The first one is Villette by Charlotte Bronte. I've mentioned before that I've done a lot of research about the Bronte sisters but I haven't read everything by Charlotte Bronte and I don't own everything by her either so this was definitely necessary to get. The next book is One Day by David Nichols. I really want to see the movie that was based on this and plus I love the cover. It's really graphic and really pop so I'm really excited to read it. The next book is Mrs. Dalloway by Virginia Woolf. I haven't read any of her works and this is the only one that I currently own so it might end up being my first. I have seen the movie The Hours, which was based off of a book inspired by this book. I'm also really excited to get this cover because Rory from Gilmore Girls is reading it in an episode. And it's just really nice looking. And the last book is The Lovely Bones by Alice Siebold. I haven't seen the movie to this yet and I've heard mixed reviews, but I think mostly people liked it so I am definitely interested to see how it goes. So if you've read any of these books, definitely let me know what you thought. I've also reached 300 subscribers already, so again, thank you all. You were all so lovely, and I just really like being a part of this community. So keep watching, and I'll keep making videos. One that I mentioned in the In Your Pants tag was The Elegance of the Hedgehog 
in your pants. 